There we go. What are you? Running on, running on empty, running on, running on. Feel feminine now? A little bit. Good. It's been a long I'm here with our friends Roy and Phyllis. Phyllis is outside though. And we are just taking a little tour. So I wanted to know what kind of rig is this? Okay, it's uh, the parent company is Forest River. Oh. Which is a large like Thor, yeah. Forest River Rev Group. Forest River, but the actual uh, manufacturer of the motorhome is Dynamax. Okay. And Dynamax has been making motorhomes since uh, early 2000s. Mm -hmm. They have a, a race history background. And nice. they've just grown. they just do super C's. That's okay. all they do. So this um, is a super C. It is a super C. Okay, how mm -hmm. big is it? It's 33 and a half feet. Okay. Mm -hmm. And it rides on a Freightliner chassis. Ooh. And so it's kind of sort of like a semi truck, but not really. It's Ooh. it's a smaller class than okay. that. Okay. Um, but it fits our needs because it yeah. pulls what it is we need, mm -hmm. um, or hauls what we need, and then pulls our truck as well. Are you guys full time, part time? We're most of the time. Most of the time. Mm -hmm. I just retired at the end of January. Um, we've been RVing for years, but always on trips or between assignments. And this, now that we've retired, this becomes our getaway. And it's not just a weekend getaway. We go for weeks and months at a time. Beautiful. And we come back to our house just to plug in. And then after two days, we're chomping at the bit to hit the road again. Get back out. And so we're back on the road. So most of the time. This is nice. It's very modern. Uh, absolutely. It's it's nice because one of the things that appealed to us, it's it's white cabinetry. Yes. So it's, it's bright. Right? Yes. And even the ceiling is unusual for an RV. Yeah. It's a wood plank ceiling, um, kind of a New England. New Englandish, but yep. we've added the Arizona touches to it, as you can okay, see. Okay, yes. This storage. is a this is a cab over bed um, that we actually convert it into storage. Mm -hmm. So when you get this, there's actually um, there's a there's a bed up here. I, I think it's really? about a full size bed. Okay. And we have a son that's six foot four, and he actually stayed with us. We had it configured in the bed configuration, and he could sleep up there just fine because it's eight feet wide. Nice. And so he didn't have any issue. We gave him a little ladder. He climbed up and down. But when you know, I mean, obviously yeah. we got this for us, right? For a retirement <laughs> rig, and it's just the two of us. So we have compartments that are in the in the bed over cab over area. Uh, there's one here and there's one on the other side and of course we've converted the whole thing to storage uh, but we can you know in five minutes reconvert it to a bed but we hope we never have to do that again and then there is storage throughout the coach um, there's some storage up here this is where we keep all of our dog food etc this is our electronics here so we can do all our monitoring of what our battery status is we can control the slide and the lights and the water and and those okay. sorts of things there this is a actually a trash can um this little lid goes over the top of it it's a large trash can that fits in here and then uh, what we did was we manufactured this bar and then put a little fox up here because our last name is fox ah. we 3d printed that and put that on there and and so that's the trash okay the, and nice little double sink it's a double sink but yep. we want to do a single sink you uh -huh. know so that's a that's a project for the future and you do have an extension that's here oh yeah uh, that you covers. can bring up mm -hmm. and in here we have a this is how you get the trash can to empty it all right so you have a tv looks mm -hmm. like a nice size tv it is mm -hmm. it is a nice size tv and it's across this from the the recliner sofas um, which is nice and when the slide is in you're even closer so you feel like you're an imax theater okay uh, but behind the tv wait storage and wow. this is where we put the larger things that, that you know you normally have a hard time yeah. finding a place for 
This is a convection microwave okay. oven, and then it has underneath this cutting board um, a three burner stove. Nice. Um, and this is something that we've carried now over the last three RVs we've owned. We won this and we mm -hmm. used it ever since. So you don't have an oven, but you have that and it, that works like an oven. Then. Yes, a convection oven. Okay. okay. This is a residential refrigerator. Mm -hmm. And of course the bottom is the refrigerator part and the top is the freezer. Mm -hmm. And they can be locked for travel and that's what these are for. Um, but here's the refrigerator and then, and here is the, the Ooh, freezer. That's and, big. And there's ice cream in there. All right, and then can you just show me your seating areas? I, I will. Okay. So um, we have uh, actually three different places where we can sit in the coach. Okay. Uh, we have at the front uh, where the seats can be turned around mm -hmm. and they're part of the, the coach. Mm -hmm. Then we have the studio seats that are here um, with the tables that Phyllis made. Those are mesquite. And then nice. she actually did all the filling in here. And if you look, behind or over to my right, you'll see the cat perch and that's made by with mesquite, mesquite. steps as well. They give you a uh, massage and they give you heat. Oh. So they're Heated very, seats. very, very nice and they'll recline all the way. I've actually slept the night on here when I was sick and I didn't want to be bothering Phyllis. Mm -hmm. um, I stayed on here and it was perfectly comfortable. So I'm noticing that um, you have a whole slide here, right? Yes. So, how big is that slide? It's, uh, well, um, Do you know? probably in the neighborhood of 10 feet. Okay, so it's basically this whole side it of is. your, okay. It is. And then the dinette, does it have storage under it, there? It has storage, you, you just lift these up, wow. and then there's storage underneath both of them. Mm -hmm. And it, but it also, the table can be lowered. Okay. And then you can turn it into a bed. So you bought it for two, but how many people does it actually sleep if you had to? Six. Six. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's great. Okay. And I notice you have the border hookups. We do. Sticker and RV Life. Yeah, Koozie. We've, we've heard of them. <laughs> we follow them <laughs> all across the country. <laughs> <laughs> and we like it. <laughs> and we love them. <laughs> Perfect. All right, and then you have a bedroom with a we, huge bed back here. We do. It's a it's a full. It's a king. It's a it's an RV king. You know you know. Okay. It's a little bit shorter than a regular king, but mm -hmm. I think it's as wide. Um, and what's interesting about this is this bed actually flips up. Okay. Just like that. Like this. And now you you can bring the slide in and out. Oh yeah. Um, but underneath here is where the water is. Oh. And then we also use it for shoes. shoe storage. It's really hard to find storage for shoes, right? Mm -hmm. Shoes and jackets mm -hmm. are the hardest. It yeah, is. we struggle with that Absolutely. too. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. All right, and what's back here? Um, in here? Yeah. Okay, this is the bathroom. Okay. Okay. <laughs> so um, it's a, you know, one of the things that appealed to us is the actual size of the shower. Um, when you get in there, you could probably fit three people in there. Wow. And for this size of a rig, which is only 33 and a half feet, mm -hmm. um, it's very, very large. Um, and, and then the, the toilet is a, yeah. it's an RV toilet. Um, but we have a macerator. It's not macerated up here. It's macerated at the, the outflow, I guess. Okay. Did it come that way? It came that okay. way. And, and, you know, we've never had a macerator before, but now that we've had it, we probably never would go back. Really? It just makes it so nice. Okay, and a macerator, basically, it's like a, um, a garbage disposal for your waste. Your waste. Mm -hmm. But the beauty of it is, not only does it do that, but it does it under pressure. You can attach a regular um, water hose to the macerator head and run the line 50 feet and pump it out, which is really nice. If you're not real close to a pump out or something and yes. you don't have a long hose, then you can pump it as far as you need to pump it. Mm -hmm. Do you know offhand how big your freshwater tank is? It's 100 gallons. Wow, that's mm -hmm. big. Mm -hmm. And then gray tank? It's either 45 or 55 okay. gallons okay. in the same waste and gray are both the same. We've never actually filled them both up. Mm -hmm. nice. You know, even boondocking for a week. And of course we have the, the TV that I don't think we've ever used once, but, it, but it's here and it good looks for you. good, mm -hmm. <laughs> but it's here. Um, and then the bed's folded up as we talked about. Um, this is the wardrobe. It's, wow. it's cedar lined on the back. This is normally where a washer dryer would go or a combo unit, a washer dryer combo. Uh, we just chose to use it for our wardrobe 
and then we also have you know the drawers that, that that are underneath so i wanted to ask you what is your favorite thing about having a super c cargo carrying capacity and tow capacity that's really? why we did it in every rv we've had and we've been rving for over 36 years as a matter of fact we bought one and that was our honeymoon driving back up to alaska in a class b it's always been worrying about weight where are we on weight how much cargo carry capacity do we have can we tow we bought this and it has over 8,000 pounds of cargo carrying capacity. It has a 12,000 pound tow rating, but a 15,000 pound hitch that depending upon what you do with cargo carrying, you can actually tow a 15,000 pounds. That just was so, it freed us up. Okay. Are there any drawbacks to having a Super C? Um, none, none that I've noticed so far. We've had uh, it's kind of a similar rig before, a mm -hmm. um, lot longer, but um, the ability to drive this with a finger, Phyllis drives it all the time. Okay. So there, there are no negatives in our boat. But I love if it. If we did it again, it'd be a super sick. I love it. Mm -hmm. And it's beautiful and you know, you've, you've sold me, but I don't think we're <laughs> in the market, so. <laughs> yeah, well, thanks. Yeah, well, thank mm. you for showing thanks. us. Thank you. Yeah, appreciate it. Yeah. Ready? Welcome to another healthy living tip with Jacqueline. Today, I am going to be talking to you about food scales. So I think having a food scale is a really good idea. And the reason is because if you're weighing your food out, then you know how many calories you're consuming. I'm not saying that you should weigh your food out every single day, some people do, but if you wanna get an idea of maybe where you have additional calories that you can cut, or maybe you're not getting enough protein, it's a really great idea to at least be weighing your food for a couple of days so you can get an idea. This food scale is fairly cheap. I wanna say it was about $10, and I'm gonna show you how to use it. First thing, obviously, turn the power on, and it has different units here, so you might not be able to see. It says pounds and ounces. You can also weigh in grams if you like. I am going to use pounds and ounces. So the trick is that you can weigh all of your ingredients out at the same time. You don't have to weigh one thing. Once my bowl's on there, I'm going to hit this button right here and that is going to zero it out. So now I can go ahead and add my lettuce. Then I'm gonna zero it out again, add my tomatoes on top of that, zero it out one last time. I'm gonna add my tuna packets, because that's my favorite salad. I'm gonna have the tuna on top. I'll zero it out again, and then I'll add a little bit of my low-fat cheese. Last thing, I'm gonna add a little bit of dressing. That is a really good way to find out what you're eating, and if you're having too much of something, not enough of something, that type of thing. So that is a food scale. I also wanted to show you our transformation for the day, and it is Dave my husband, who was also my first client after myself. So here is his transformation. Oh, wow. And that's been another Healthy Living Tip with Jacqueline. Hey everybody, thanks for watching another episode of the Border Hookups Go RVing, and please remember to ding that bell so that we can let all of you know as to when we have more episodes coming out. If you liked what you saw in this video, please give us a thumbs up and place a comment below. And if you're on a healthy journey and you want some help, fill out my link in the description. And we really hope to see you out here. We will see you all out here. So when you're kind of showing us, try to, it's hard, but try to leave breaks. So you can cut and split. Yeah, exactly. And then I'll ask you questions. So instead of continuing, because then it gets cut it's really hard. weird. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So. Okay. Sorry, we're throwing all this That's stuff okay. at you. <laughs> hey, we can roll with but, it. And we can do them again, too. It doesn't, you don't have to be perfect. So. Yes, he does. <laughs>